Hunting for morel mushrooms is a popular thing to do this time of year. They can be a great snack for some people and a money maker for others too. Yeah, they're worth a lot, right? Yeah. Uh, as you begin the search, though, keep an eye out for other seasonable edibles too. Seasonable, <laughs> seasonable. Did See, I say that right? Let's just get to the story. Yeah, let's go. Uh, I'm Carrie Vrabel. I am a wild food forager and I'm certified by the state of Indiana and the state of Michigan as a wild mushroom identification expert. This time of year is morel hunting season. It's starting a little late um, because of the cold spring we've had. But um, the thing is when people are out in the woods, I think a lot of people don't realize that there are a lot more really nice wild edibles, including wild mushrooms, that, uh, that you can find when you're out morel hunting. Okay, so right here, um, this is a really good specimen here. This is a pheasant back or also called a dryad saddle mushroom. So I get as excited about finding pheasant back mushrooms, especially the young ones that are ready to be harvested as I do when I find morels because I love the taste and um, they're really tender and it has a, a really good, it's kind of a cross between a cucumber and a, the rind, like a watermelon rind. It has a really neat smell to it. It's a good mushroom to learn and try when you're out morel hunting. Growing right next to the dryad saddle is chickweed. This is a nice edible green that's gonna be growing all around when you're out in the woods looking for morels. And you can just take a tender piece of it. Mm. It's really nice, it's really mild. It's good for a base of a salad. It's something you can snack on while you're walking out in the woods. These are ostrich fern fiddleheads. These are gourmet eating. These are delicious and this is a good time to harvest it. You can eat, even eat the stem. You would cut it off down at the base. You don't want to take too many from a, a group here so that you can allow the fern to, to continue to live and flourish. But you can take a couple from this cluster and you want to cook them before you eat them. Uh, you can saute them, um, steam them. They have almost an asparagus flavor. They're really delicious. This is another really overlooked wild edible that is delicious and plentiful in the woods. Um, this is called Dame's Rocket and um, it often grows as a cluster around last year's uh, flower stalks. So that can be one clue. It also has a really a fur, sort of furry and distinctive leaf here. This makes it actually makes a really good good salad green and it makes an amazing cooked green. Um, I think it tastes better than spinach. Um, this is the common blue violet. This is a native plant and um, the flower and the leaves are both edible and they taste really nice. It has a, a little bit of a sweet flavor. People make uh, simple syrups and jams and jellies and a, a violet lemonade. This is fun to make with kids. So these are the prize mushrooms of spring. These are morel mushrooms. These are some of the earliest ones, so they're a little bit, they're still pretty small. They get quite a bit larger. Um, you can find them, and I think they'll be easier to find in the next week or two. That's why it's, it's fun to find things like the dryad saddles and other wild edibles while you're out looking. All right, so before you go searching for Indiana spring edibles, it is important that you're educated, you know what you're looking for before you eat it. That's right. You don't want to eat something that you're not supposed to. <laughs> no. This is very challenging. It would be for me. Uh, look for more on our website at WPTA21.com.